Hi everybody, so today I'm gonna show you how I went from this crazy mess to this serene, beautiful work environment. I'm gonna declutter and organize my art space for you and give you a sneak peek behind the scenes to a giant work in progress for me, featuring one of my newest, I mean, it's new to me, uh, one of my newest favorite products by Fantastic. So. Stay tuned. So I just want to mention that T-Rex Alcohol Inks featured me in a blog post of theirs and named me Artist and Educator of the Month. And I just thought that was so cool. I wanted to share it with all of you. If you want to check out the blog, there's a link in the description box to the T-Rex blog. And it just gives you a little more insight into who I am as an artist. So now let's talk about this. <laughs> I know all of you feel this way. Anyone who is an artist understands clutter and how quickly it accumulates the things that we buy, the things that we come across and are given. I had just this one little tray holding my alcohol inks that I used frequently. Oh look, I found a rose. <laughs> Never know what you're gonna find uh, when you start digging around in there. but. Man, I, I just, it was too much. It was overwhelming. I have pinata inks, snare inks, the T-Rex warm and cool packs I saw in there, Brea Rees by Counterculture DIY. I haven't even tried those yet. The Marabou inks, the Let's Resin alcohol inks, Spectrum Noir, um, Blending Solution Powder by Funkadelic, and the Chiffon and Holographic inks by Funkadelic. I haven't even got to show you guys that yet. The Copic 2 and the Common Sky inks, which I'm currently in love with right now. And I wanted, there's just so much to show you. Of course, the good old Ranger Tim Holtz ink. But the thing is, I felt so overwhelmed by all this stuff that I didn't feel inspired. So I thought, I need some affordable storage. So the first thing I found was the drawer organizer. These are for kitchens or offices. This came in a two pack. It was like six bucks, you guys. Not that expensive at all. And I found it in one of those discount stores. Um, the other affordable option was a cosmetics organizer. And this works great for alcohol inks or art. Um, just uh, for artists in general, there's all kinds of things that you can put in these little compartments. And I also found this for really cheap. This was under $5, but I also was at like a discount store, a grocery outlet. Look, those little alcohol ink bottles fit perfectly in front. Um, you just kind of kind of find your way around, you know, what you want to put in each little compartment. Now, I uh, used these for, you could use them for paint brushes, of course, but I use them for all the little tools. With alcohol ink, you have the little Pixis sticks and the little makeup uh, tools and Q-tips and little baby funnels and just all kinds of things. But it, you know, just a little fussing and it just proved to be really, really useful. And I'm so glad I got that. Um, so you can see, I just put all of the inks that I use the most. You know, we all have those handful of colors, maybe three or four colors, like the brass or Blanco Blanco or whatever, we put right in the front and that tray was done. This, the T-Rex alcohol inks comes in three packs, a warm, a cool, and a starter pack. You can get 10% off your T-Rex ink packs. Um, there's a link in the description box if you want. But this little one, this little storage caddy fit the packs perfectly. So each pack went in one compartment. And so I was really happy. My OCD was satisfied with that little <laughs> per perfect match there. So um, that worked out well. And then I thought uh, the next thing was the Common Sky inks because I'm really, really, really loving them. I would totally recommend them. Um, you know, there's things that I do on Instagram that I don't get around to doing on YouTube. So if you want to follow me on Instagram, you can see a lot of little product reviews 
like you're seeing on the left here, that's a painting that I did with the Kamenskaya inks on an ampersand clay board. And then of course, this little caddy. So these little tins hold 60 bottles of ink. It's a lot. Each one holds 60 bottles, so I have all of my Ranger and Tim Holtz inks in there, and they stack nicely. Then I decided I should do my liquid bottled watercolors by Hydrus. So I do have quite a few of those, and Dr. Dr. Martin's Hydrus watercolors. So I thought I should just use this other little tray and make those somewhat available because I've been working with watercolors off and on lately, doing some pretty little things. So that's my little, I don't have a lot of Daniel Smith, they're expensive, but I got these at a used um, estate sale. I got them used at, at an estate sale, so it was pretty exciting. I still haven't gotten to try all those things out, but you know, here's a way to add a compartment as well if you need just another little you know compartment you can always add one and I just took this old coffee cup and put that right there so that's one way you can add if you need a little bit of extra storage and then overflow storage of course get the clear plastic bins with the sealed lids alcohol inks emit an odor even when the bottles are closed so um, Arteza sent me this compact carry-all basket and I thought, what am I going to do with that? And then it came to me. I love to paint in this room. I love my studio, but sometimes I just want to paint in this room. I love the light that comes in here during the day and honestly, look at, look outside. Ooh, just. It's just green and pretty this time of year and I just find it quite inspiring to sit at this window and have that light coming in so sometimes it's just nice to get out into a different room so I thought this caddy would be perfect because it's portable it comes in a two pack with these wooden handles and all the diff uh, three different compartments in, in each one a pretty good size too so I thought I've been liking to do my watercolors at night there's an example I've been using the Arteza metallic watercolors which are totally beautiful and this is their pan watercolor I really like both of those uh, watercolors so a couple of palettes and my other little Japanese uh, watercolors in there some brushes and of course all of the embellishing pens that I like to use that's a black and white and this is the smooth writing high uh, white gel pen that I love that makes all the pretty details in my paintings and you guys have probably seen that by now if you've been watching me for any length of time especially my alcohol ink art this is my fine mist sprayer. I'm pretty much in love with that thing. It just puts out this really super fine mist, very gentle mist. And I, I love that. So I thought if I want to paint in the other room, this would just be a totally great option to pack this thing full of all of my favorites and you know instead of armfuls and trying to make 20 trips into the other room I thought I'm just gonna put all the stuff that I need in here and take it into the other room so through the studio and into the office done just throw down some of my uh, watercolor paper and you know I still have to get a glass of water and maybe a paper towel or something but now I'm just set and that's one use for those caddies and I really think it, it's ex it, you know you could use it for a lot of different things
Now, I promised a sneak peek of uh, my big work in progress. It is a 24 by 36, you guys. And I can't wait to show you how I create these beautiful lines. You know, those beautiful fine lines that everybody's looking for with alcohol inks. And also some tips and tricks on how to make it go where you want. Um, this tool, which I can't think of the name of, it has a little rubber tip. If you know the name of that tool, put it in the comments below. I can't think of it right now. But that's really helpful. And then this is one of my favorite new little products. It's called Fantastics. It adds or uh, removes pigment for alcohol ink. So it's really fascinating to work with. It's a really fun little tool. If you like this channel and want to keep seeing more videos like this, please like, comment, subscribe, share, shop my Amazon shop. You can always buy art. All the art that you see is for sale. And as always, uh, thank you for watching. I appreciate you being here. I hope you enjoyed some of my tips and tricks today. And as always, I can't wait to make more art videos just for you. All right, guys. Bye-bye.